Having immersed myself in macOS for the last two years, I can confidently say that I have developed a profound appreciation for it. However, like any platform, it's not without its nuances. Elements such as window management, the absence of a volume mixer, no vacation pop-ups, and occasional navigation challenges in the Finder. In this video, I will delve into the aspects of macOS that I dislike, and ensure that I can provide solutions for each of the points that I discuss. macOS has terrible window management. Holding down the full screen button will allow two windows to go into split view mode. That's it. You can't drag a window to snap it into place and you are limited to only split view mode. It's just not ideal and that's why I like to suggest an app called Rectangle. There are a bunch of other options available but Rectangle works best for me. Plus it is a free open source app that makes managing your windows an absolute breeze. Just check this out. For whatever reason, there is no option to decouple the scroll direction of the trackpad and the scroll direction of the mouse. The separate toggles for natural scrolling on the touchpad and mouse settings are actually linked, creating an inconvenience for users who prefer a different scrolling experience for each input device. Mac users have to go out of their way to install even more third-party applications, and in this case, Score Reverser is my go-to solution. Simply check the reverse mouse option and you are good to go. Have you ever been lost in the finder and have no clue what directory you are even in? This is actually a simple fix and Apple should have this setting on by default. Now go to view, then enable show path bar. You can also enable show status bar for more information. You've probably realized that there is no delete button on the MacBook and tried using the backspace button to delete a file, but it just doesn't work. Luckily, there is a hack to delete files in the Finder. Just hit Command plus backspace to delete a file. This performs the same function as dragging a file to the bin. I can't be the only person who has selected 20 files and folders and pressed the Get Info button, expecting to get a combined estimate of my storage. Instead, I got a burst of 20 Get Info windows, which is not what I was trying to do. Being a Windows user in the past, you would expect some functionalities to work the same on other platforms, and that's just not the case. So what you actually have to do is, once you have selected the files that you want, all you have to do is press Command Option I. Now, why doesn't macOS have a volume mixer? This feature was introduced for Windows back in 2007. I mean having one master volume slider is fine and all, but there are instances where you want to turn down the volume of certain applications, and that's just not possible. Well, unless you download a third party software. I have opted for background music and it does the job just fine. A more popular option is SoundSource, but I just can't justify spending $40 for a volume mixer. At this point, I just want some Windows features to be implemented in macOS. For instance, when I click date and time, I'd love to see a tiny calendar appear. While there are workarounds available, such as adding a calendar widget, which is free, there are also paid third-party softwares like Datto that you can consider. These workarounds do the job, but it would be far more user-friendly if macOS included this functionality natively. I don't see the point of notifications on a MacBook. When you're busy working, the last thing that you want is a disruptive notification that can break concentration and hinder your productivity. I understand different focus modes can be switched on for different scenarios. Personally, I just like to have all of my notifications switched off on Mac to reduce the hassle of changing between focus modes. Honestly, there really isn't much I dislike about the Mac, as it does almost everything perfectly out of the box. Initially, I attempted to compile a list of 10 things I didn't like about macOS, but I found it difficult because it's such a well-rounded operating system. Anyway, that is all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If there is anything that you personally find less favourable about macOS, please share it in the comment section below.